The first thing you have to ask when participating in Ethics Bowl is, what are ethics? Ethics is the area of philosophy that deals with right and wrong, what is moral and what is not moral, and what people ought to do and what people ought to be. And that is what Ethics Bowl deals with, those real life situations that have ethical questions involved in them. So how does the competition work? There's a competition between teams of high school students. There's normally about five people on a team, and we gather to talk about ethical issues that are pertinent to today's society. So even though we might have some competition elements in there, it's more about solving the ethical issues and trying to come to conclusions about what we think about the universe as a whole and our society and our lives. How does it work? So how Ethics Bowl works is a packet of cases are released for the regional ethics bowl that you're going to participate in. And then you make a team of about three to five people and you meet weekly and discuss the cases and you kind of generate arguments for each case about whether it's ethical or not and you make stances. What's really important and unique and special about Ethics Bowl is that not only are you discussing ethical cases as high schoolers, but you're discussing ethical cases as teams of high schoolers. And the teamwork portion of Ethics Bowl is really interesting because when you're presented with a case in competition, you only have a few minutes to get to your heads together with your team. You're going to say, okay, what are we going to say about this case? And so you um, write on scratch paper and you build your arguments together with your team and everyone contributes to the argument. It's really intense and it's really scary, but it's also really fun because it's basically improv. And together as a team, you can add comments and work together to create the, big, the best argument you can. And then if you advance, you continue on to semifinals and finals after your three rounds. There's definitely an element. Uh, we had a lot of combinations of interesting people that occurred through Ethics Bowl. So we had the high school students and then we had our PSU coaches uh, and then we also had our teachers and administrators from school. So we had different ages and different backgrounds all working together in the same environment and so that kind of intergenerational atmosphere helped us a lot when we were discussing the cases because we all had different perspectives but it was also just fun to get to know people of different ages and different backgrounds from all over the place. And then I think also what's interesting about Ethics Bowl is that Ethics Bowl brings up cases or situations that have ethical issues, but it's something you would, some, some things are things you would never get to talk about with your friends. Like the, I know that the cases are a lot more um, personalized to high schoolers this year. Like, um, isn't there one about, um, should you, is it ethical to date your ex, your yeah. best friend's ex or whatever? But um, last year there was stuff like, um, is the one child policy in China, um, should that ever happen uh, with that in a moral setting? Um, is it ethical or non-ethical? What is the sort of standing on making in vitro meat? Um, what are some of the other ones? Should we be arming present day uh, foes, uh, rebellions in different countries? There's like things that you would, would never come up around the lunch table in a high school and you get to learn what people think about that in an ethics bowl setting and it's really cool. It's an opportunity for high school students to, to confine together and discuss ethical dilemmas which are either permanent to themselves and uh, their own personal lives or to larger world issues. And it's just a great way to get together and uh, have some fun.